Hello and welcome to Lightworks. In this video we're going to have a look at the Content Manager filter section in more detail. You'll find the filter section on the top left hand side of the Content Manager panel. In the filter entries we can display different types of clip, specific clips based on search results, or you can make your own custom filters. These filters are dynamic. This means as extra content is added to the project that relates to the parameters in the filter it will be displayed appropriately. Let's have a look what we get by default. First filter is clips. This now shows all the clips in my project. You'll notice on the top of the clips filter bin is additional tabs. All shows all the clips. Video only shows clips with just a video track. Audio only shows just audio media and rendered shows any render files I've done in the project. In the edits filter, all my edits currently in the project are displayed, with the addition of the clipboard. You can use the clipboard tied permanently into the edit window, or you get the choice to pop it out. In the everything section, all the assets in my project, edits, stills, video media, audio, etc. In the recent filter, I can see when I've accessed clips. Clips accessed today, yesterday, this week, this month, and also current. The current tab is very, very useful. In the current tab, we can match the frame from our edit to our source material. Everything displayed in the current tab relates to what's underneath the current time position on the timeline. This means you can match back your shots with ease. As I go to this area here, the red position bar covers the audio and the first shot. In the next position, this area here has a rendered section. So we see the render, the original clip and the audio. And that updates instantly as you move across your timeline. In the searches section, we get tabs for recently performed searches. I've created these first three tabs with time and date from when I've been importing. You'll see how to do that in Content Manager video number one. These two tabs here, I've performed a search from the Content Manager search tool, which we'll discuss in another video, for scene 001 and 002. All the filters displayed in this section can have different levels of visibility. You can always show them, you can always hide them, and you can hide them until they're actually populated with some meaningful information. To manage the visibility of your filter list, right click, choose Manage Filters. The Manage Filter panel opens. You can see the filter name in this column and the visibility. So for the clips, they're always shown. I can hide them when they're empty, or I can just hide it completely. The clips entry has disappeared. Let's put it back. Always show. You can make your own custom filters. Here's how you do that. Return to the filters panel, press create a new filter. What I'd like to do Let's make a filter that shows me all the XD cam media in the project. I'm just going to call that XD cam HD. Set the visibility to always show. And the type of content I'd like to show XD cam clips. And under the criteria, I just need to assign XD cam in the compression format. Of course you can fill in as much information as you like in these filters. They're entirely flexible. Press create. My XD cam HD clips are all filtered in this bin. If you need to return to the filter and edit the display parameters further, go back to the filter, right click, choose manage filters, my XD cam HD filters here, the visibility is there, 
and I can access the panel that we just set up the filter on from the drop down here to add further criteria for the filtering. Let's do another one. Create a new filter. I like to find all the shots that need color correction. All my clips have a note on them written CC. Create. The color work filter has arrived. Just setting this to list view. In my notes column, I've added CC on these shots. So we've got six shots in here for correction. Remember the filters are dynamic. So if I went to my drama master bin here and just identified a couple more shots that need color correction, I'm going to punch in that metadata into the notes column. When we return to our color work filter, this updated itself with those two new shots we've identified for correction. Let's have a look and see what we can do with the searches results. I'm just going to clear a few of these results by clicking the X on them. Let's make a filter for everything containing scene 001. Right click, create filter from search results. Automatically it's named scene 001, so that's fine. Set the visibility and press do it. Now we have a filter for scene 001. Popping back to the master drama bin. If I add for more entries, for scene one, adding another entry for scene one, dynamically update the scene one filter. If you wish to clear any of these custom filters, simply right click, destroy the selected filter. Are you sure? Yes, we are. We hope that's helpful. Thanks for watching.